Hey there, Internets. Pixel Geek here with the Udesly tutorial on how to take your Webflow e-commerce project and convert it into a Shopify theme using Udesly's new app and Chrome extension. All right, now let's go to my screen and I'll show you how it's done. Now, before I started recording, I went and grabbed a free Webflow e-commerce template. And you can get this over at webflow.com slash templates. Now, for this conversion, you don't have to start from a template. You can eat also get start from a blank page uh, and build it from the ground up. For, but for this demo, I'm starting with a template. All right, so this template has some pre-made pages, like a home page, uh, a products page. Ooh, burgers, nice. And for the products, you can see here, we got some Burger Waldos, mmm, bacon. Okay, enough, enough about food. Let's keep going. All right, so pretend that I'm done with the design. I'm done adding products to the Webflow e-commerce. Uh, now I wanna start the conversion process. So first thing you need to do is use the handy dandy Udesly Chrome extension. Just click on it once, then choose Webflow to Shopify. After that's done, Cool, we have a config file. Let's click out of that. Click on the export button at the top. Now, if you don't have access to this feature, that probably means that you're on a free Webflow account plan. So what you need to do is upgrade to a light or higher account plan, and then you'll get access to this. All right, now after that, go ahead and prepare the zip, download the zip, and yeah, we're done with Webflow. So we can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to Udesly. And so after you log into Udesly, click on go to app at the top right. And we're going to choose Shopify. And there we go. I'm going to drag in that zip file that Webflow gave me. For theme configuration, I'm going to choose that config file press open. And for additional assets, I'm not going to do anything. You don't have to do it. Um, so you can just skip it. I'm going to click convert and magic. It's a template and we can download it. And so when I download it, it's giving me two things. It's giving me the zip file, which has the uh, theme and then an extra data file that we'll need later for the very last step and I'll get to that soon. So let's go ahead and log into our Shopify account and let's go ahead and go to customize theme. So click on customize theme, customize theme again. And I'm gonna scroll down and we need to add a theme. Upload zip file. And we're going to drag in that new zip file. Click upload and let that run and once it's done it's gonna start loading it into your account so we'll need to wait for this to go through and there we go just added now we just need to click on the actions drop down and click publish and then publish again and there we go our theme is published so now we need to do one last step with this extra file that we have. So Shopify has a Webflow importer app inside of Shopify. And so we're gonna do that and we're going to log into the store, paste it, there we go, log in, choose my account. Come on, we can do it. And finally, install the app. Cool. And now with this importer, I can drag in that data file. And there we go. All of our CMS items, our project or our products and our e-commerce settings have all been transferred over to our Shopify store. 
So that's it. Now let's go back to my demo and view the store. All right, so here it is. All right, and these are actual products. So if I click on one, let's say, where's my bacon? Where's the bacon? Ah, right there. Click on it. This, as you can see up here, it's an actual product. Mmm, with egg. Wait, that's not bacon, that's ham. Well, anyways, there you go. It's a real working Shopify theme using Webflow as your designer tool. So that's it. That's how easy it is. We've used the Chrome extension to create a config file. We exported the code. We installed our theme. And lastly, we imported our products, CMS, and e-commerce setting data into our Shopify store. And it took less than five, maybe 10 minutes. It's that easy. So thanks again to the Udevly team for creating this. Um, it's really helping the no-code community. And if you want to start using it, go to udesly.com now and try their Chrome extension for free. All right, that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.